When the heroes went away, we came out to play. So it's unanimous. Pineapple does belong on pizza. <laughs> on to our second order of business. The new season of Marvel Snap, Thunderbolts. Check this out, the season pass card is a royally bad man, Baron Zemo. Zemo is a master manipulator who assembled the Thunderbolts while pretending to be a hero. <laughs> In Marvel Snap, he steals the lowest cost card from your opponent's deck and plays it next to him. Try comboing Baron Zemo with Absorbing Man and Grandmaster to <laughs> recruit even more of your opponent's deck. And if you want to get devious, use a combination of other cards that destroy your opponent's deck to leave them with nothing left to play. What a bad dude. <laughs> But Baron Zemo isn't the only new card this season. <laughs> and Red Ben, you're gonna love this next one. Mm-hmm, yes sir. It's Red Hulk. The former Air Force General is Hulk's nemesis and transforms from gamma radiation exposure. In addition to super strength, Red Hulk can absorb energy and that's why in Marvel Snap, he gains plus four power every turn your opponent has unspent energy. Why not use Wave or Electro? Thanks, Red Ben. Yeah, lure him out early and make it even harder for your opponents to spend all their energy. Next is another patriotic scoundrel. <laughs> U.S. agent. Unlike Captain America, he doesn't let his pathetic morals get in the way of justice. In Marvel Snap, he inflicts serious damage against higher cost cards at his location. Even his own crew. Who needs friends anyway? <laughs> America! <laughs> this next card loves spiders even more than you, Spider Ben. Impossible! It's White Widow. Trained in the same deadly odds as her sister, Black Widow, this mercenary has her own way of biting prey. When you play her, she adds a Widow's Kiss to your opponent's side. Widow's Kiss is crushing but the effect can be cured by some friends, assuming they're willing to fill the whole location. <laughs> I love to slide Electrian on the last turn to make sure that location isn't as full as they think it is. <laughs> Tell him about the Red Guardian, man. He's the Russian rival to Captain America. They clash over their nationality and methods. Hey, I'm talking. All right, anyway. Pumping up your comrades is overrated, so Red Guardian bullies the weakest opponent in his location by inflicting negative power and removing their ability. Eat it, Iron Man! And finally, we all love a good backstabbing, am I right? <laughs> well, this last card is a triple-crossing triple agent, Valentina Allegra de Fontaine, aka Bad Nick Fury. This Leviathan operative successfully infiltrated both Shield and Hydra. So in Marvel Snap, she recruits a random six cost card, but gives it minus two cost and minus three power, but that's a small price to pay. Play Quinjet and give it minus three cost. I'd play that with Luke Cage or Shadow King to get it back to full power. Oh man, that's why we invite you to these things, Radio Ben. Oh, hey. Space Colts meeting in room 102 today. Sorry for the mix-up. All right. The new locations for this season of Marvel Snap also promise to mix things up. Castle Zemo and Thunderbolt's Tower will have your card switching sides and losing power. I'll rhyme that one for y'all. 
And you don't have to be a bad band to appreciate these amazing new Victor Farrell variants available in the season pass. These will blow your mind. Sorry, Headless Ben, too soon. Absolutely not cool. My bad. He's can't get a break. Oh, it's today's special guest speaker, a bad man with a brush responsible for a cosmic album this season. Hey, Dan Hip. Hey, Ben. How's your evil meeting going? It's going great, Dan. Would you mind sharing your origin story as well as some of your favorite villains with the group? My history as an artist started when I was a kid, reading comic books. Uh, I just wanted to make comic books all the time, so I went to art school. Eventually made a real comic book that was actually published. Did that for a little bit, and then moved into animation, where I art directed the show for seven years. Jumped out of that to Marvel Snap, and here we are! My style tends to be really cartoony, light, colorful, uh, whimsical, little dash of nostalgia thrown in there and it's either just what you need or you think your five-year-old brother do it. The process for illustrating Marvel Snap cards is pretty straightforward. I get a list of names, I put together some roughs for those characters, um, and then I move on to the line work, and then finally color. Ta-da! Working with Second Dinner is pretty awesome. They're always open to uh, fun ideas and takes on the characters. Um, it's fantastic. Three Marvel villains I had a lot of fun drawing um, in my style were Venom, Galactus, and Apocalypse, which was actually the first card I drew. I'm not sure if there's a clear fan favorite card I've drawn, but I've enjoyed how a few of the cards that probably shouldn't be as fun as they are have turned out, like, say, Helicarrier. That guy has no business being fun, but he's fun. The advice I'd give to aspiring artists is just keep making stuff. You gotta put stuff out there. It's not all gonna land, uh, but that's the only way you're gonna grow. To everyone watching, I just wanna say thanks for the support and can't wait to draw more cards for you guys. You're amazing. Yeah, you, right there. You're amazing. Well, thanks for having me. Good luck with all the bad guy stuff. Love it. Thanks, Dan. Dan, hip is so good. Anybody else have any updates they wanna share? Yeah, hyper competitive Ben, you go ahead. My uncle works for Second Dinner. He told me there's a new type of event coming in late April, just to a few countries in Europe, calling it Leagues. Leagues takes the thrill of competition, makes it more personal, because you're gonna be playing against 30 of your closest frenemies. So look out for the test in late April. It's gonna launch everywhere else after it's been thoroughly battle tested. All right, everybody, make sure you keep your good eye open for these spotlight caches. Oh, and we have one more item on the agenda up for debate. Is it pronounced GIF or GIF? Who has thoughts? This guy. Oh, oh, GIF oh, right here. I know the I answer. Get it. This guy. I get it. I get it. Hey, 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 settle down. I'll cancel the Hawaiian pizzas. 